This is question 41. The question states, the de Broglie wavelength of an electron having 320 electron volt of energy is nearly, it is given that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules, mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and Planck's constant is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second. And the four options are 70 angstrom, 0.7 angstrom, 1.4 angstrom and 14 angstrom. Dear students, the de Broglie wavelength lambda is written as Planck's constant by momentum p which can be written as h by root 2 m e where e is the kinetic energy and m is the mass of the electron. We can substitute the values. h has a value of 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to power minus 34 divided by root 2 into the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 raised to power minus 31. The energy is given in electron volts that is 320 electron volt and we can multiply it by 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 to convert it into joules. On solving this we get a value of 0 0.7 angstroms. Meaning for this question the correct answer is B that is 0 0.7 angstroms. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question 42. The question states in adiabatic expansion of an idle gas heat is gained or lost by the system, heat is neither gained nor lost by the system, temperature remains constant or volume remains constant. Dear students, in adiabatic expansion, the volume change is positive that is the volume increases and since it is an adiabatic process, delta Q is equal to 0 that is heat is neither gained or lost. We must also note that in the adiabatic expansion, the temperature of the gas drops, that is, it is less than zero. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer is straight away B, that is, heat is neither gained nor lost by the system. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 43. The question states, the following figure shows the combination of logic gates. So, there are three gates given. The combination is equivalent to NAND gate, OR gate, NOR gate or ZOR gate. Dear students, the D Morgan's law can be used to solve this question. Y here can be written as A bar dot B bar and a complete bar above it and this will be equal to A plus B, meaning the gate is an OR gate. For this question, the correct answer is B, that is OR gate. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 44. The question states, resistance of which of the following solids decreases on increasing temperature? Consider no change in the dimensions, metals, semiconductors, insulators only or insulators and semiconductors. Dear students, for metals, the temperature coefficient of resistance is positive. That is, when the temperature increases, the resistance increases as well. Now, for semiconductors and insulators, the temperature coefficient of resistance is negative. That is, as temperature increases, resistance decreases. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer is D, that is, insulators and semiconductors. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question 45. The question states an alternating potential V is equal to V naught sin omega t is applied across the circuit. As a result, the current I is equal to I naught sin omega t minus pi by 3 flows through it. The average power consumed in the circuit is 0 0.5 V naught I naught, 0 0.707 V naught I naught, 0 0.25 V naught I naught or 1.414 V naught I naught. Dear students, the power in AC can be written as VRMS IRMS cos phi, where phi is the phase difference between the voltage and the current. Herein, VRMS can be written as V naught by root 2, IRMS can be written as I naught by root 2. Herein, phi has a value of pi by 3, that is 60 degree. So, cos 60 is half, and the final answer will be. V naught I naught by 4 
that is 0.25 v naught i naught and hence for this question the correct answer is c that is 0.25 v naught i naught now let us proceed to the next question <coughs> 